What makes the studio art program at Santa Clara University awesome? The people. One of my favorite things about the art and art history department at Santa Clara is that it's a very uh, small, close-knit community. Uh, everyone knows each other and everyone is really willing to support each other and I know in the hallways and um, just all around the building there's all kinds of art from professors and students so it's really nice because like sometimes I'll be go walking into the building there will be a new piece up and I'll go look and I'll be like oh my god I know who this is um, but yeah the professors are what make the art department so amazing um, they're they're just the best part of it and they're all you know incredible artists themselves and have so much real world art world experience um, and also just are so good at teaching. An art history major prepares you with lasting and adaptable skills. You will learn to observe closely and to link these observations to meaning, whether you're doing that in a primary text or an image. And you will grow as a writer and as a presenter. You'll learn to craft an original and compelling thesis, to draw on authoritative sources as you make an argument, and then to present this argument with clarity and style. You'll develop cross-cultural fluency and an understanding of how cultures through time have navigated faith and reason, technology and innovation, and the tensions between global and local. In the course of this, you understand your own life in the broader spectrum of human events. I'm a recent graduate of Santa Clara University, class of 2018, where I double majored in studio art and art history. After graduating from Santa Clara, I spent one year at American Media in New York City as an O'Hare Fellow, working in editorial and audio video production while writing on visual art and culture. Now I'm currently wrapping up my first year teaching studio art at Gonzaga College High School in Washington, DC. The most important aspect of our job is to like produce this next generation of creative types. Uh, and it, it goes across the mediums. It's not meaning specific at all. Uh, rather everyone um, kind of collectively wants the entire group to do, to do well and to succeed. And we've built in tools for that favorite art history classes that I've taken. Anything Professor Clydesdale teaches is amazing. She's such a great professor. I loved doing postmodern contemporary art because, especially because it's stuff that people always talk about and I didn't actually know that much about it. And Professor Morris was an awesome professor. I've taken a um, beginner sculpture class. That class was very fun because I'd only really had experience with 2D art growing up. I did a lot of painting and sketching, but never with um, any 3D art. With art history, you can understand the deep tides and currents of art and history and culture that continue to exert a pull on people today. My experience at Santa Clara gave me the tools needed to build a solid foundation for my career in the arts. What's unique about Santa Clara is their commitment to a holistic education. I can vividly remember one quarter where I was learning not only how to paint, but also the history of 19th century American landscape painting, as well as environmental ethics. You can see your professors working next to you. They're, they're, they're working on their research. They're working on their art pieces um, at the same time as you. And I think that you know, that, that collective energy is something that, you know, the students really feed off of, but also the faculty really feed off of. Um, and that's something that definitely uh, sets our program apart. In my experience, I saw this specifically with the world-class facilities found endowed in small class sizes and with guidance and mentorship from professors active in their fields. I found funded opportunities for travel and research, spending two weeks in Aspen, Colorado, studying sculpture at the Anderson Ranch. I also had opportunities to show my work in annual juried student exhibitions and present my art historical research at the annual undergraduate art history symposium on campus. You know, just a plug, you should all join the Student Art League. It's so fun. Um, we have maker nights where we all get together and make something and it's, it's awesome. Um, 
and it's just kind of another community of artists or people who like art. Hello, my name is Andrea Pappas and I'm the chair here of the Department of Art and Art History at Santa Clara University. Our department offers both studio art and art history majors and minors. Many of our students uh, double major or major in one, minor in the other. Many of our students also combine a studio art or an art history major with a, either another major or another minor from another area in the university. We have a state of the art building with a large gallery at, in which we map four exhibitions a year. We have, offer traditional media, painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, and printmaking, as well as digital media digital printmaking, digital photography, graphic design, computer arts, and augmented and virtual reality, um, with both of which happen in our Imaginarium, which is our dedicated lab. I hope to see you in the fall.